All right, what up? So, um, what we got today? I got a new soldering station um, because the eighteen dollar weller or eighteen watt weller um, just wasn't cutting anymore. Um, I don't really think it's because of the tip, even though that's uh, seen better days. Um, one thing I'm trying to do is um, put some ends, PL259 ends on um, on some old on some coax cable to get my ham radio stuff back working, and um, these little soldering irons don't cut it. Um, problem I get into is yeah it'll get hot enough, but I have to get the whole thing hot enough, and it winds up uh, I don't know how well you can see that uh, it winds up cooking the uh, the plastic inside here and after you do that it's it's no good um, so what I got is this soldering station this Xtronic model 3020 it's supposed to be super cool um, some of the reviews that I saw specifically mentioned putting on coaxial ends uh, with this so let me go get a bit of water to put in here uh, and then we'll fire this thing up for the first time and see how she does all right only managed to spill a little bit of water like 350 let's do that oh it's C holy shit so that's probably really hot oh yeah so that's 663 C Fahrenheit whoo man that's really hot It's sizzling a little bit. We'll leave that chooch for a little bit longer. Um, Alright, so... I'm pretty terrible at doing these things. I haven't done them a lot. So, the way it works... Let me show you, just in case you don't know, how this all goes together. So, um, you slip this over the end. You... Uh, connect these this uh, this is part of the copper braid that goes around in between the black insulation and the and the clear insulation in this coax cable um, and then you slip that on so this goes on the cable and then through these holes you solder solder whatever uh, these the, the braid onto this and then this thing comes up, screws on, and then you got your completed connector. Um, and that's how it's that's how it's supposed to go. So, a buddy of mine was telling me that what he did is put this on. Wait, is that how? Yeah, put this on. Put it through there. All right, and then. So what he was doing is getting all of this sort of on one side, right? Kind of twisting it together, right? And then I guess how did he do that? 
skate this back a good bit. And we'll see if we can't pull this through one of the holes on the side. Yep. Got that. this screw so is that gonna mess it up no it's not fantastic so now all we got to do is solder this and it should be golden we get 600 This is some kind of cleaning stuff. Hang on, let's see this thing. Let's see if this works. All right, here we go. Now we're—I think we're cooking now. So I'll just get this. Start getting this a little warm. God dang it! See, I'm bad at this because I don't do it often. I don't do it often because I've had shitty equipment. Screw it. Blame it up. Now we're cooking. So that should be good. Now we gotta do the center conductor. Let me crank this back up a little bit. Does keep it clean. Let's 
If it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, that's correct. So that should make a pretty good contact. Alright. I'm um I'm kinda satisfied. Not too bad. Yeah, I think this might work. Um so you can see the uh around that center post, the insulator, the insulation around that center post is not melted like this one was, terribly. Um, it seems like I got a pretty good joint out of that, uh, out of where I stuck the wires out. So, all right, well, let's, um, let's put the end on it. Oh, shit. Still a bit warm. All right, let's get the test stuff. It's got the rig expert hooked up, and um, I think you can see it's at 1.8 SWR, so it seems to be working fine. Um, that sounds about right for the antenna that I have hooked up. Whatever. Um, so yeah, I think the connector works. Yay! It worked. <laughs>